Well, I made it back to Spokane, and before I left the boat, one of the things that I did do was I took off the raw water pump, and I have it with me right here. While I'm home, I'm going to be rebuilding this baby. I hope I didn't ruin the shaft. That thing went flying. My name is Rick. Join me as I refit sailing vessel Frog's Leap with an eye towards taking her to warmer places. I get to spend only a few days each month on the boat. That's why I call the channel Marina Queen. So I'm in the garage with the pump right here, and it's time to uh, start taking this thing apart. So I got this clamp and I'm gonna try to just clamp onto the, the wheel here. Okay, without crushing the wheel. Just wanna hold it steady. And I wonder, will I be able to break this nut? Yes, there we go. this okay and the pulley wow it's pretty rusted look at this so this is just so I'm gonna have to treat this with some rust stuff and then paint it I think well I was kind of lucky because the the nut here that was on this pulley uh, this was half inch and uh, all my metric stuff's on the boat, so I got lucky. I was able to take this off. These other bolts that are on the pump bracket, those are not half inch. Those are the bearings getting pushed out. I didn't ruin the shaft, that thing went flying. Okay, let's take a look at this. So this is what went flying. The bearings, this one, the inner one, real smooth. This one I can feel grinding. And that makes sense because this is where the water was, was leaking in through that seal and uh, and you can see actually if I take this little, oh wow, that rubber thing is, uh... so this thing's actually, so this rubber thing, there's actually cracks and stuff in it. The inside of that bearing is, there's lots of rust. Whoa, this is worth seeing. If you get right up in there, you can see how the seal is deteriorating on the top. It's not even a, a circle anymore. So I'm just gonna push the seal out and then I'll grab it. I can hear it in my voice. Like, I think this is gonna be easy. I'll just pop it out. They don't pop out. No, the whole game was getting the seal out. Everything was a lead up to the main event. I took the thing off the vise, sat in the sunshine and gave it 15 minutes of my attention. It's not just rubber in there. It's like a plasticky rubber that encases a metal ring. So, I mean, there's structure to it, a metal structure inside of the seal. And then there's also this circular tensioning spring. There's three different pieces to this. You know, you just look at it and you think, oh yeah, it's a rubber gasket, like you put in your garden hose. No. So I'm just gonna push the seal out. Oh yeah, it does take some force. Come on. I got everything out of the pump. including the seal. The seal is actually kind of hard to get out. The seal has, um, 
you know, you think about it as being just a piece of rubber, but it's more complex than that. This is what I have left of it. It's like a metal washer with rubber encapsulating the washer, and there's this spring in it. So it's kind of an interesting device. It was hard to get out. Expose the washer so I could see the seam, tear it apart. It was hard to get out. So take a hammer, tear it apart. So that's what I did. So I'm getting ready to pull these bearings off of the shaft and we're gonna use the old bearing puller for that. So with these pullers, you have to grab the bearing first and then come into it. And then now it's solid. Now I should be able to pull that out. Okay, so there's one that's out. And I am applying some of this green pad to this shaft. I'm just trying to get a sense for whether or not this shaft has been damaged beyond the point where I can use it again. And All right, so I've cleaned all the parts. You can see I got this down to bronze or brass, whatever it is. I think it's bronze. The pulley, I got all the paint and and the bracket, all the paints off of that as well. I used these products to get the paint off. This uh, Jasco Premium Paint and Epoxy Remover. It's actually pretty good. I heard a lot of good stuff about this aircraft remover and it's good too. I would say the aircraft remover is probably better. I used both because I went to Lowe's and I got this and I couldn't find this at Lowe's. So this was kind of, I got what they had. Big box, no. Automotive, yes. More expensive, yes. Taylor and I are heading into Spokane. We're gonna go to McGuire Bearing on Trent. I'm gonna pick up some bearings for that water pump. You can buy the full kit, but you can also buy the bearings separately. Probably in the future, I'll buy the full kit just because it's easier to source everything. All right, well, I'm in the garage and this is my workbench. It's pretty messy right now. You know, this is a project that I'm doing for the first time ever. I think when you do things for the first time, you gotta know it's gonna be messy. So here are the main parts. There's this. You can see I've taken all the paint off of everything. I think it's bronze and maybe these tubes here are brass. And also the, the pulley, taking most of the paint off of that, except for the stuff that's really stubborn. And also the bracket. And this I also took all the paint off. I'm gonna use the rust reformer. This treats whatever rust is on the metal and provides a primed surface to paint. The reason why is because take a look at the pulley. Like if you get right up on this pulley, and I've sanded it down and I've used some power tools on it and I've used the stripper. This is an old pulley for sure and it's, it's seen some things. And admittedly using spray paint on an engine, I mean, there are better ways to do it. And then I'm gonna use this high heat Rust-Oleum tough protective enamel. And I expect that it's gonna be silver. And it's what's funny about that, it doesn't say anywhere on here that it's silver. That'd be great if it's silver. You know, you want a light color, I think because you want to be able to see what's dripping on your engine. If it is this color, I'm fine with that. It's lighter than the Anmar gray, but that's okay. It also makes it really obvious what I've rebuilt and what I have not rebuilt, so I like it. I mean, it's still spray paint. It's gonna last maybe a few years. If I get more, hey, uh, then I'm, I'm surprised. Well, thanks again for watching another action-packed episode of Marina Queen. Be sure to stick around next week as I get these pump parts painted and get this pump reassembled. I'll see you next week on the boat. New episode every Sunday. I'm not as think as you confused I am.